This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, I have a quick win to show you an update made to version 1.38 of Playwright, which has deprecated the type method, which you'd use on text boxes, and replaced it with press sequentially. I'm going to walk through exactly what I'm talking about, just in case anyone is not familiar with this. But at the moment, all I've done is I'm going to the commitquality.com webpage and I have a my text box locator, which is getting by the placeholder filter by product name. So just to show you if I go onto the website, it's gone here and we're going to be interacting with this text box because this is what this change is all about. So before I actually get into the change, nothing is actually updated with the fill method, which is probably what you use in 99.9% .9 of the time. And what I mean by that is if I say, uh, await text box dot fill. This is what I'm talking about where you're entering details in. So typically this is what you want to use all the time. If I was actually to say NPX player test headed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page dot pause here just so we can stop it to see it's entered. Let's hit enter on here. And what we should see is the website's loaded and we filled in that uh, filter box with product two. Perfect. And that's how it's working. Now, there's no change to that. And this is still going to be the preferred method of entering into text boxes. However, before we were also able to say await text box dot type. And what you can see here is it's already crossed out. And if I actually hover over it, we can see here type is deprecated. And this is because it's been replaced with press sequentially. So I can say here, press sequentially. And if you're not seeing this, it's likely because you haven't updated to version 1.38 or higher of Playwright. So make sure you go into your package.json, update it here, run npm install or npm i for short, and it will update and you'll be able to see these methods. Now, if I hover over it, you can already see it tells us in most cases, you're going to want to use locator.fill. And you only need to press keys one by one, which is what this is going to do, the press sequentially, if there's a special keyboard handling on the page. Typically, you don't need it. Nothing has changed with pressing uh, things like delete or backspace, which I'll show you in a second. You still use the press method for that. So what I can do here is I can literally say product two. And I'm going to comment out this fill, otherwise it's going to enter it twice. And if I just rerun this now, what we should see is product two is still entered completely fine, works as normal. However, this isn't the preferred approach unless you are needing to press the keys one by one. So if I continue, there we are, product two was entered and it passed. Now you may also remember with type, you could delay your typing as well. And you can still do that here. If I add a comma, you can see all the arguments we have available and delay is still there. So if I say delay and let's say uh, 1000, so one second per input, if I rerun this now, we should see after I've done the page.pause, after I've continued on the page.pause, press sequentially is going to enter at uh, each character in one second at a time. So there we are, P R O. There we are, and it's going through. Maybe I done it a little bit too slow. And there we are, that's the change. If you still need to do this kind of stuff, make sure you use press sequentially instead, because at some point that type is not going to be working, it's not supported anymore. And I did mention about, you know, pressing special buttons on the keyboard, you can still do it. Um, nothing new on this, you can do text box dot press, and uh, we can enter what we want. So in this case, it backspace, that's perfect. It's give us the one I actually wanted to do. So if I save that, what we'll see is uh, if I do the page dot pause down here instead, I'm going to actually remove the delay because that's just adding extra time for no reason now. And uh, we can comment this one out. What we should see now is when I run the test, we're going to see product two as entered and then backspace will be pressed. So we'll be left with just product and the space. So let's run that. We are, it runs so quick. But here we are, you got product, space, and the two has been removed because we pressed that like, space button. And that's it. I just wanted to show this just so everyone is aware of it, if you're not keeping up to date with the kind of updates. This is a little bit late. Version 138 was updated, I think, a week or so ago. So uh, this may be 
old news, but definitely something to remember and something just a quick win that we can share on this channel. As always, if you do have any questions, pop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks. So if you want to help contribute towards my channel and the running of it, then uh, you can donate using super thanks. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good day.